Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn about the different types of geometric cylinders. So a cylinder for high school and, and middle school students is any curvilinear solid. The most common one we see kind of looks like this, like a can of soup or a soda can. And the idea of a right circular cylinder is that it has two parallel bases that are circular, and the bases meet the height at a 90 degree angle, thus they're perpendicular. Uh, now we can have an oblique cylinder, for example like this, and in this case uh, the circular bases do not meet the height at a 90 degree angle. They can meet it here, it looks like it's about 130, and thus here it would be like 50. Uh, these would be uh, alternate interior, they add up to 180. So we have the right circular cylinder, we have the oblique cylinder. Uh, in more advanced mathematics, the definition of cylinder changes to any rectangular solid that has two parallel bases. So for example, this, which if we said that this base and this base were parallel, then it would be a cylinder in more advanced mathematics. But in basic high school and uh, middle school math, any curvilinear solid with two parallel bases is a cylinder. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned the different types of geometric cylinders. Thanks a lot.